yeah welcome back to my channel it's genius graphics in this tutorial you guys will be learning how to create a swipeable post a carousel a seamless carousel post for instagram on your smartphone using pixel lab can you see this you see we have a very perfect image without cuts can you see and it is different so without wasting our time Let's start the tutorial immediately. So, firstly, you move to your pixel lab. So, you change your image size to the Instagram image size 1080 by 1080. Yeah, can you see? So, now you see the width, you type 2160. Okay, so this is how I got it the 2160. Instagram post is 1080, that's a square. So I need two square. You will multiply the 1080 times two. So it's going to give us 2160. And if you are creating three swipeable pages, you times the 1080 by three. So that's how you are going to get it. And you are going to put it over here, the width. You want to calculate it, you are going to paste it on the width. Yeah, so you move here, you will activate this grid line so that I'm going to know the middle of my page. This is the middle. Can you see? So I will activate this. Yeah, so now I'm going to change my background color to a gradient color. Let's say something like this. Yeah, or let's let me use another color. I don't like this. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to add my shape. So I'm going to adjust it because I want the other side to be white. Yeah, so I'm going to lock that. So this is the first page, this is the second page. Yeah, so now I'm going to add from my gallery. The image I will be using, I'm going to import it. Yeah, this is the image. So I'm going to select it. So after that, I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to place it at the middle of the page. And you see, this is the middle of my page, so I'm going to place it over there. I think you can see that now. So let's start adding our text. So I'm just going to zoom it like this. Then, you see this image, I'm going to move it out over here a little bit. So I'm going to lock it like that. So I'm going to type a text how to how to okay so I will move to my font I will select the let's say the Amsterdam font yeah then that I'm going to add a grid line over here so that I'm going to have a straight line. I think you can see that. Yeah. So now I'm going to move this over here. So just move to your position and position the line with it. Yeah. So I'm going to add another text. I'm going to type create and Instagram seamless carousel carousel post using pixel lab yeah so that's our content 
now I will move to my text size I'm going to reduce it yeah so I will move to my font and I'll select let's use a long font the Beba's new yeah so my line spacing I'm going to reduce it I think you can see me see are you are getting what I'm doing so just increase this one this size then let's move it up then I'm going to reduce my line spacing yeah so now I'm going to select the two and I'm going to place it at the middle sorry not that middle this one over here so I'm going to place it there now I will select the two once again and I'm going to move it to this edge yeah so now I'm going to change the color of this how to to color black then I'm going to bring that to front my position I'm going to move it down yeah so our first page is ready so my second page I'm just going to add don't forget to save this post for later post okay so my font I will select the Beber's neon I think you can see that then I'm going to select the gradient fill yeah so my line spacing I will reduce that okay so the next thing now I will add some shadow reduce the blur radius then just give it offset y and x just one one then place it over here yeah so now I'm going to lock that layer now I'm going to add from my gallery I'm bringing the save icon so I'm going to search the save icon yeah this is it so I'm just going to select this yeah then I'm going to mark it so now I'm going to reduce my size and for this it's supposed to be in the middle so I'm going to move it to the middle like this then I'm going to lock it now I'm going to adjust this and I'm going to place it over here just let me move it up a little bit yeah so now I'm going to type my text and I'm going to type for later okay so now my text color that will be black then I'm going to select the cursive font which is the Amsterdam font yeah so our carousel is ready can you see this now so i'm going to save as image i'm going to save as a very high quality a save to your gallery yeah so after that i have two ways of cropping the image firstly 
can change your pixel lab to default then change the image size to 1080 by 1080 pixels yeah then i'm going to bring in from my gallery the images we just finished editing yeah this so i'm going to move the first one to the edge we save as image they save it at a very high quality yeah they bring in this you press crop they select the second one they save as image also the second style is for you to use the application named panorama for instagram or panorama crop select the application then select panorama can you see yeah so i have mine in my pixel lab then i'm going to select the image you see the application automatically selects one ratio one so it has many features if you want to use three swipeable posts see this is going to be if it is three but mine is two so i'm just going to select two so can you see see what we did very beautiful so this is how to create a carousel post on instagram so guys thanks for watching please do subscribe right now please and like the post right now please don't forget to do that thank you so much bye bye